Today we've got the Player 3 Max build, another beautiful build coming out of CoinOps. I'm going to share with you the README files, what makes this one different, but this is going to be for your PC, your laptops. You don't need a you know crazy computer. You can run this on almost you know most modern computers just fine. And man, this is a ton of arcade stuff, a nice little console collection, and it all kind of wrapped up in a beautiful thing with plug and play, double click, and you're retro gaming like a boss. Let's go ahead and uh, check it out. So here we have the Player 3 Max. At this point, you've downloaded it. There's backups.me. There's a whole video on how to do that. Once you've downloaded it, it's going to be all RAR files. You just want to right-click the RAR files and then do like a 7-zip extract too. And then this is the directory you're going to be left with. There is a README in here, and then the main application right here is Player 3 Max. A lot of you who've been using these builds in the past, you could just double click this. You should have everything pre installed, especially if you use CoinOps in the past. But they made this really cool guide here. Um, there's three builds here. I'm showing you the Player 3 Max. The P3 Arcade and P3 Micro just have a lot less ROMs installed on them, and they're smaller builds. So, and they even talk about that, I think, in the directory here. Yeah, here you go. This is the difference between the P3 Max here on the left, and then you have the 35 gigabyte for the P3A, and then the mini over here on the bottom. And then all of these builds come with uh, different themes that you can switch through and one 4x3 theme. There's also instructions over here. They said they highly recommend getting this from... Uh, you know, uh, backups.me or their Discord. Do not get it from Arcade Punks, just because they've. Ha I think they've had issues in the past with Arcade Punks. Uh, maybe just the the file get messed up as they you know get transferred so much. Uh, so CoinOps builds are self. Anyways, you can read through this yourself, but this is what I like is that they're fully 1080p ready at 60 hertz, so they're going to work with most main displays. You can also put it on an external hard drive, which makes it incredibly cost effective that you can put this on a little external drive and hook it up to any computer or bring it to like a friend's house or something like that. It's just really portable that way, so that's really cool. Here's your install uh, instructions. I'll let you do all that yourself. Just a few things you have to install. It's really easy to do, like DirectX, things like that. Controllers, I always recommend getting an Xbox 360 controller, but you can, you know, run other things as well. Here's a, more information on the differences between the three builds, the kind of the, the why behind them here, and then the actual what's behind them. Um, so uh, the main build is here. Player 3 Arcade launches all. Okay, player Street Fighter launches a single player playlist of all available Street Fighter titles. So you can kind of make your own um, builds like they did. They made a player Street Fighter. You could do that with like, all X-Men games or something like that. They're just kind of showcasing that and the capabilities of, of this build. Uh, here you're in, in your, uh, your, just your uh, uh, controls while you're in uh, coin ops before you launch a game. And then uh, here's just talking about, you know, the, the artwork and the themes and how they work. Um, and then you can also change playlists and things like that. How, you know, hide certain games, show certain games, things like that. Oh, where the heck is the player? <laughs> yeah, that's, I was going to ask the same question. Player 3 builds are designed to be elegantly presented yet simple to use. Administrative functions can also get inevitably changed by guest users or little ones. Therefore, the visual settings menu, a.k.a. the uh, the GUI, right, has not been included in Player 3 builds. Interesting. Yeah. So if you like the um, like changing the themes easily within CoinOps, when you load CoinOps, it looks like you'd have to do that in the root directory or the VAT file, and um, or just go get CoinOps 2, like the Retro Arcade, or get the CoinOps uh, Next 2 build, and that's probably more your speed anyways, right? All these CoinOps builds are purpose-built, so this one might not be for everyone, but it's really pretty as we're about to see, or as you've seen already in the video. Using the uh, down position on your gamepad, we'll, we'll flip between these menus here, and note there's no settings menu here. It's just you have all games, Arcade games, consoles, favorites, and you can add and remove favorites, old school games, beat 'em ups, run and gun, fight club, and shoot 'em ups. But right off the bat, you'll see just how beautiful this thing is. It's a full, you know, widescreen. There is a 4 3 resolution theme as well, but this is, you know, 16 9, 1080p. And you can go through the games here. You can hit your analog sticks to jump as well. You can hit your bumpers, or not your analog sticks, but your L2, R2. And then you can hit your R, your L1 and your R1 to jump between letters as well if you really want to jump around a lot. Um, well, especially like all games, you can see it's a total of 979 games. 
uh, you've got uh, arcades, and you can see up 869. So this build is pretty much 90% arcade. A lot of coin ops is arcade based, um, and then especially if they're official coin ops builds, I've noticed they're mostly arcade focused. A lot of the console stuff you're gonna want to get coin ops next, and then there's a bunch of ROM packs for that. Um, so. Um, next up you have console see only 110 console games so it is a mix I actually saw some PlayStation 2 games on here like this you've got the Sega Genesis if you notice that this on your your um, your bezels here show you what system it is right so you have Sega Genesis here Super NES Dreamcast uh, Super NES I'm just seeing if there's any other yeah it's just that Doom for I think Doom is a port not sure doesn't have a system and then uh genesis genesis so let's just show you the consoles really quick oh and you even have a uh, gamecube here so i did notice that about this build just right off the bat that there are going to be some more advanced games on here i mean <laughs> not game and watch obviously but um the playstation 2 the gamecube street fighter 4 is on here the pc game um those do take a little bit more processing power and so note that that maybe you don't need the big uh, version here because maybe your computer or whatever device you're running on this on can't run that. So keep that in mind that you might be downloading stuff that you know, you know, you're just wasting bandwidth. So that's the biggest thing I think. If you if your computer can't run it, why why get the the big one, the bigger image? Super Mario 64, Super Mario All Stars. You got lots of Mario on here. I even have Super Mario Strikers, Super Mario Sunshine, some more GameCube, Super Metroid, you got your Star Wars, Tekken 5, some more PS2. A lot of PS2, actually, or not a lot, but a good amount. Wave Race, Wild Guns, Zero Gunner, and then Zombie Ate My Neighbors to round out the consoles. So Favorites has got 127 preset. Uh, old School, you got 182. Beat em Ups, you got 90. Run and Gun, you got 112. Fight Club, you got 85, and Shoot 'em Ups, you got 133. And like I said, the only real different, there's a lot of this is like Coin Ops Next 2 and Retro Fighters, but you do get here Street Fighter 4 Ultra. So, like, that is, you know, a, a much larger game than you're going to find on a lot of other builds. Um, and then the PlayStation 2 games, and I think there's some others on here as well. Um, maybe they have uh, Afterburner. Let's see if they have Afterburner, Climax. Yeah, I believe this is PS3, right? So it even has a PlayStation 3 emulator on here as well. So if your computer can't run that, just just keep that in mind that it does come with that and there might be a chance you can't even run it. So there you go, it's, it's gorgeous, right? You get to see the marquee, you get to see the screenshot, you get the, the uh, bezel, the menu hides over time. It's really nice. Um, I'm just going to kind of scroll through these games really quick. And it basically allows you to find your joystick buttons. Oh, yeah, but I have, I have joystick. Ready! So final thoughts on this build, amazing. You know, Coin Ops is constantly, just when you think they can't do any more, you know, they have the retro arcade, they have this, they have Coin Ops, 
coin ops 2 next and i'm sure they're going to have even more something i really like about this is that it is widescreen it's full screen it's ready for 1080p it's plug and play um and i like that when you're scrolling through the games there's like shaders on the games with bezels so it looks just like you're actually in the game in the operating system or in the front end so that's really cool to me i think a lot of people are going to enjoy that you know when you're browsing the games things like that now um it runs great. I love the new playlist. I love, uh, you know, I love how they simplified it. No settings. So for those purposes and the and the purpose built console, it's great. Now here's the th reasons why you might not want to get this. If you already have Coinox Next, Coinops Next Two, you have your packs. You have like all the games you want. You got Pinball FX Two. You got you know your shoot shooting games. You got it all already calibrated. You know maybe this one isn't for you. This is a plug and play under 100 gigabytes, and then there's even the smaller ones just for kind of like these little smaller builds. If anything. This is the kind of build that you give to like a friend of yours who doesn't know much about this but wants to play retro games, right? Or somebody who just wants to select few, maybe for a kid, a child. You know, there's like really uh, distinct applications for this. But if you're on my channel and you like these big crazy builds and more, 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 this one might not be for you. Um, you know, things like, you know, there is only so many consoles, right? Some people are going to want a lot more consoles on their, on their coin ops and then go with coin ops next too. Arcade sets, right? You know, in which arcade games were selected. Yeah, it's a great general uh, overview of arcade games, main games, but there's still quite a few that aren't on here. So keep that in mind that, you know, what you're getting into here and how the different coin ops builds differ. You know, this one being kind of a, you know, a all-in-one build, right? There's not a lot of expansion here, per se. I mean, you can obviously do playlists and things like that, but it's really not that... that you know, three terabyte build with everything, right? For every console and everything like that. I do like that there's a mix, right? Of like, it goes all the way up to GameCube, but then it goes all the way down to Game & Watch, right? So you get that kind of, uh, you know, between the decades, you get a nice uh, variation there. But anyways, I'm digging it. Uh, you know, backups on me, video below, how to do that. Join CoinOps, great community. Uh, shout out to that community as well. This build is beautiful. I'm digging it, but that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.